I, I hope we didn't offend Deanna. Probably. I don't know if she's coming back. At this point, you've been off for a bit. You've found mm-hmm. a space and begun conducting a ritual. Mm-hmm. As you finish the completion of your kind of divine circle in this dark wooden corner of the tavern uh, upper area, which is completely empty at this time of day, uh, you finish your commune spell and you clutch your uh, holy symbol. And my phone goes holy off. Oh, 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 look at that timing. He's arrived. <laughs> Yay. <clears throat> As you feel the chimes of your worship cling past your ears, the light fills your mind, and the burning light of the star that encircles Exandria and brings life and heat and death and rebirth. Uh, the Dawn Father's presence glides through and around your spirit, and you feel the burning stare of him turn towards you expectantly. I do my best to not look away and just match that burning gaze. A couple questions, and then I'll let you go. One is working with Bell's Hells actually going to help save all of you. They seem dangerous. There is no response which leads you to believe that the Dawn Father is uncertain. I'm getting so fucking little from you. Fine. (laughs) Are your disciples perpetrating harm in this world at your behest? My disciples, do what is necessary for the good of our people collectively and the future of Exambria. One more. Are you worth saving? You are thrust out of your communion. With enough force that you like hit the back of the wood and your eyes burn like you had been staring into the sun itself. I got chills. Uh, oh, that's cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't like that. Oh. Huh, weird. I go back upstairs and move on with my day. Okay. Wearing some sunglasses I've just invented right now. <laughs> <laughs> Those seem like very useful. <laughs> 